Hi guys. Okay. I have a couple tags I've been tagged in and I wanted to get them done. Um, just a quick hello to everybody. I haven't been on for a week and a half. I haven't made a video in a week and a half. Maybe it's been two weeks. But anyway, I'm getting some done now. And um, this is a tag called the Selfie Tag. I was tagged by Jerry from... Oh, Jerry, what is your channel name? You guys know Jerry. I cannot think of her channel name. I will put it down below for sure. Um, I also want to mention two YouTubers that I would really like you guys to go and check out. They're, um, one is Lit From Within. It's Tila. She's in Australia. Um, and it's L-I-T From Within. She is such a neat gal, and she just did the most interesting video about um, spousal abuse and how she lived with it and how she got out of it. It was a very, very good video, and I'm hoping that you guys will go check her out. She deserves a lot more subs than she's got. She is the neatest gal, and um, she's a horse lady. Barbie, you need to check her out. She's a horse lady. And um, I think you guys would really enjoy her. The other is a new YouTuber. Um, her channel is Season of Hope. Her name is Hope. And she is just getting started. She actually lives in Mexico. And um, I told her that I would be sure and mention her in my next video. So I wanted you guys to give Hope a little bit of love. She could use it. And let's see. Let's get on with the tag. There are 10 questions. It says, number one, what is your best physical feature? I was having trouble with this one because I think my ears are too big. I think my nose is too big. I think um, my eyes are too small. My face is too round. You know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm put together, but, you know, I couldn't figure a best physical feature, so I asked my husband, and he said, your whole face is your best physical feature. So I thought that was cute. So I thought, I'll use that, honey. Okay. Number two, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? The one place that I would like to go to before I die is Rome. I would like to go to the Vatican. I would like to go see some of the old cathedrals that are there. Um, I'd love to see the Pope, if possible. So it would it would be Rome. Number three, what do you need to feel better when you are sick? I need drugs, sleep, and a hot cup of tea. In that order. Um, that's what I need. <laughs> Number four. What one piece of advice would you give the youth of America? One piece of advice. I think I would try and get across to the youth of America, and I think every generation does this and doesn't get anywhere for the most part. But I would tell them, listen to your elders. They've been there. They've done it. They've failed. They've succeeded. They have lots and lots of advice they can give you that will help you and make your life easier. Whether or not they take that advice is pretty hard. But because everybody wants to live their own life and make their own mistakes and, and everything, but when you watch a young person struggle or a young person that is getting everything handed to them too easily, you can just see the outcome. You know, you can see where if you, if they would just listen to a couple things you had to say, it would make things so much easier down the road for them, or even right now. But, you know, getting them to listen is hard. What animal do you think you were in a past life? Oh, without a doubt, I think it was a dog. I love dogs. So I must have been one. Number six, 
If you could travel back in time, what would you change? If I could travel back in time, what would I change? I would change worrying so much. And I look back on it now and realize all the worrying I did did not change things one bit. They only stressed me out, which in turn stressed my family out. So I would definitely change that. I would change my temper. I had that Irish temper. I don't, not as much anymore, but when I was younger, I had a hotter temper. So I, I would change that. What do you do for fun on weekends? Well, I'm retired, so it's not, you know, just fun on weekends. Um, for fun, I like to do beading, I like to do computer, I like to go for rides with my husband, go out for a bite to eat, um, go visit our family. Those are the type of things I like to do for fun. Number eight, what's your biggest workplace pet peeve? When I was working, my biggest pet peeve was gossiping. I fell into that trap for a while and realized too late and down the road that people can be hurt by gossiping and that it's stupid. It's just stupid to gossip. I I don't understand anymore people that want to spend their time talking about someone else in a negative light. It, it's and a lot of times I realize it's just interest. They're just interested. But they don't realize that that can cause harm. So I would say definitely gossiping. And a negative attitude. It's so much easier to say, I'm doing fine, thank you, than, oh my gosh, let me tell you what's going on. <laughs> Although we all share on here... Um, there were people that I worked with that no matter what you asked them, it was a down answer. We had one gentleman that if you said Merry Christmas to him, the first thing out of his mouth was always, bah humbug. And that's the truth. I used to feel very sorry for him. And I, I look back on it now and I think he was trying to be funny, but the way it came across was, ugh. <laughs> you just want to cry. <laughs> okay. Um, I wouldn't be caught dead without. I wouldn't be caught dead without a bra. Definitely. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Well, let's see. If I could... Hmm... If I could fly, I wouldn't want to fly. I, get, I don't like heights. Strength, super strength. Hmm. No. Invisibility. I would take invisibility. You could, you know, you may not always want to hear what's going on in a room, but you could be there and listen and, you know, you you don't have to say whether you heard it or not. So... I would say invisibility. And that is that. That is called the selfie tag. I'm going to tag some people in the box down below, so check. And remember, if you're not tagged down there, please do the tag anyway. I will tag... I'm just going to tag a few people. Sometimes I'll go through and tag everybody. And then that doesn't leave anybody for other people to tag. So I realized that the last time I did that. I thought, well, that doesn't leave other people somebody to tag. So I will go through and tag a few people, and um, then they can tag a few people and keep it going that way. So that is the selfie tag. So I have another tag to do, so I'm going to get on with it. So talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.